this is my homemade gear reduction auger um, I call it Dora drill operated reduction auger um, kinda just a weekend project um, I drilled my ice holes last year with the uh, 18 volt XRP um, with the extended runtime batteries um, used an 8 inch Mora ice auger um, it did okay I I burned up some drill parts, some switches, and uh, the 8 inch hole was just a little too much for the drill. Um, it did okay, uh, better than drilling them by hand, put it that way. Um, but I put a lot of thought into it the last year, um, thinking, man, it just spins too fast. 450 RPM is just entirely too fast for, for an ice auger. Um, so I came up with this. Um, I had a bunch of junk bikes laying around, um, so I figured with the gearing, um, good good to start there. I just have a 48 tooth sprocket here, 18 tooth sprocket here. Um, it's hard to see, but I welded a grade eight half inch bolt through here, and um, got this on a lock nut, so everything's removable. It can all be taken apart. Um, the chuck inside here, eventually this will get tore up. Um, this is also a replaceable part. Um, like I said, basically it's built out of a few bike parts. Um, uh, 2.5 to 1 gear reduction. Um, really puts the power down. And to have two handles that you can hold on to your drill takes the weight off of your drill. Um, right now I just have a, a leather strap in here um, holding this on. I want to get a Velcro, nice tight fit. Um, here's my actuator. I put the drill on safety and show you it goes up and down. Um, drill's on safety right now, but uh, adjustable cable on both sides here and here. Um, helps you take any play out. Um, this conversion here fits like I said an 18 volt XRP if I wanted to make it fit another drill I would have to make this extendable up and down um, there would be a few modifications for it to fit other other drills but me being a contractor I have a few of these drills around and uh, quite a few batteries so um, instead of buying a gas auger I decided to make this um, quick walk around uh, there's a chain guard on the side that you would you would cut on here um, that way your clothing or anything doesn't get caught in the chain um, as same thing down here this is a carriage bolt it's rounded off so when it spins it can't grab your clothes or anything um, this is the view from the top you have two handles um, throttle control right here and uh, that's what it looks like as it is in use um, bike hand grip this one says Jeep on it um, which is which is fitting I guess uh, because the bike that I took it off of was a similar color um, here I just used a implement paint a farm and tractor implement paint um, thought it would really protect it it's really hard tough finish um, I like the finish so much on there that I went ahead and painted my Mora which was showing bare metal I went ahead and painted that um, wire wheeled and painted it and look at the finish and it's a really tough paint um, like I said farm farm and implement paint I think it was made by a company called magic with a K um, really nice stuff I'm hoping this holds up can't be worse than having a rusty auger put it that way um, I just took the heads off wire wheeled and painted it um, let me show you let me show you this thing in action um, this is just a chain guard here um, just to keep tension on the chain that way if your chain were to pop off out there you were to loosen this one bolt you could pop your chain right back on tighten that up um, haven't had much trouble with any chain pop or anything like that so far but you never know when you're out there um, let me try to get this set up so it's right in view there we go. Okay. All right. Right now, I just have a brick 
There's a holder. Lift it right out of there. Perfectly balanced. Um, as for weight wise, right here in the center. Um, it's got to be comfortable. It's got to be balanced. Let me show you. Got a piece of wood here. Alright. As for operation, safety off. Always keep the safety on. That way you don't accidentally bump the handle and catch your clothing or catch your fingers in the chain. Um, safety off. Just put the drill in forward. And you're ready to go. Um, it's that simple. You pull the trigger. Yeah, it's spinning. I'm putting all my weight on that right now. And it's hard to see. Really comfortable. When that's spinning, I cannot stall that motor down putting all my weight on that. Um, what the gear reduction does, it takes 450 RPM on this side of the drill and turns it into 180 on this side. Um, really take, puts the torque down. It's hard to, it's hard to describe. Um, and the drill, you loosen the chuck, take the strap off, the drill comes right out of there. You can take it to work, take it to your house to work, wherever you're at. Um, let me show you with the auger bit on here. To put the auger on it um, and to set the unit down, I turn the handle sideways. And then when I set it down, it keeps battery and drill off of the ground, um, which is important. And also, the battery packs come right in and out. There's enough room to get the battery packs right in and out. But as for putting the auger on, um, let me just go ahead and do this. Take your standard Mora, any ice auger you want. Slide it over your shaft. Line it up and tighten your wing nut. Um, just as simple as putting an auger shaft on any on any auger. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, just right-handed. Give it a wiggle. There we go. Stand it back up, turn your handle, I hope you can see me with it. There's your auger right there. As for spinning, um, Nice and light, easy, and one finger, balance, it's key. You don't want to be drilling your holes, pushing more to one side or the other. Um, as for operation, um, it's been pretty flawless. I haven't got to try it out on the ice yet because here in Pennsylvania we don't have any ice yet. Um, but it's coming and I'll be ready. Really comfortable. Seems to, seems to work flawless so far. Um, I'll let you know um, when I get a few more tests. As for setting it down again with the auger on there, I just turn my head sideways. And there you go. Um, drilling battery up off of the ground, up off of the ice. Um, a whole assembly weighs 17 pounds. Um, that's drill, reduction unit, and auger, 17 pounds. Um, I cannot wait to go drill some holes with this. Um, really excited about it. Um, well, yeah, and that's my that's my project. Um, I hope you like it.